how to merge or blend layers in Affinity Photo. Go to the Layers panel, select the first layer, and then go down the bottom here and click here. You've got Mask Layer. You've also got other options, Empty Mask, Compound. This is for version two. If you're using version one, you will only have the option for Mask. So click there and you've got a mask added. For the Layers panel, you can find that in the Window menu and Layers. For version one, you have to go to View menu and Studio and Layers. So now you've got a mask there. You can also select the other layer and you can do exactly the same. So just go down here, click here, and you'll see the option again for mask. So select that. Now you can fill this with brush strokes, also gradients, etc. So I'm just gonna use a gradient tool. Click that, and I'm first gonna do the first layer, just here. So click and select the mask, and then drag across. Now you'll see here, you've got white and black. That's for the gradient. And it's linear. You don't have to use just linear. You've got options here for elliptical, etc. You can also modify the gradient, but that's the default gradient and it's perfectly reasonable. So it's white to black. Now you can see you've got this line here. That's not ideal. But what you can do is go down here to the other layer. So select that mask and do exactly the same as before. So just drag across and you can drag like that. And you see this time you've got white on the far side, the right, and black stop there. And you can drag it, move it like that. Now, at some point, you'll get a line. That's obviously where the edge of the image. So you don't want that. But again, hold down the shift, just position it about there. So you've got that blend between the layers. Now, you might want to then go back to the other layer. Now, unfortunately, the system doesn't remember the gradient. So you have to reapply it. Again, gradient tool, and just apply from left to right. And you see, by accident, I've gone and selected the image. You don't want to do that. You've got to select the mask. That's the key thing. Always make certain the mask is selected. So as soon as you do that, you can drag across and then you can see you get your result. And you can, of course, vary. If you want the blend to be there, just make it very short or make it very long. But again, at some point, you'll get a line appearing, which is not ideal, but that's unfortunately where the image ends, the layer ends. And you can see now, you've got this blend between the two images. What you can also do is you can use other layers. So what you can do is select this, just select it, and then right click, and you can duplicate. And that will duplicate the layer and the mask. And you can expand it out again. But now what you can do is again select the mask, go here, and unfortunately again, you have to recreate the mask, but you can drag it down from there so you can get different results. Maybe drag from there and you can see you get more. Now, you might not want that line, so you can reposition it maybe over there or maybe go for elliptical to create a different design. Maybe highlight the hair or go down here. Maybe you want more of the shoulder, up to you. And again, obviously again, you will always get, unfortunately, edge of the layer. You can, of course, repeat that. Maybe have three, four, 10 layers and then combine them in multiple ways. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you much.